The Lantern Fest is right around the corner and the Stand By Me event is about to be upon us, so I'm going to give my recommendations on who you should pick, and I will break it down into recommendations for free to play and veterans. So a very uh, safe pick or top pick I would say is Zhang Ling, because you can get her from the Abyss by clearing floor 4-3, and if you're free to play and you have her, it's going to be very easy to get constellations of her, and just about every single constellation she, she has is worth having. A good pick for a free-to-play weapon for her is the Crescent Pike. When you get orbs from her E ability, which she creates a lot of by dropping Pooba, it will enhance the damage. Her elemental burst is Pyronado, which spins this ring of fire around your character, and you can actually switch characters while this is active to gain more damage or create elemental reactions. And if you wanted to pair a character with her, you could pair Kaya with her to get that uh, melt elemental reaction for the big damage. An artifact set I would recommend for her is Gladiator if you want her to be like a main DPS and you're going to be using her normal attack a lot. Or you could use the uh, Crimson Witch of Flame set which uh, boosts your elemental reaction damage. The next up is Jin Yan. She's a hard one to recommend to people that don't already have her, but if you have been rolling on Zhao's banner and you were lucky enough to get her, or maybe even a second one for her first constellation, I would say go for her if you have a first constellation, because it will make her burst crit 100% of the time, resulting in a ton of damage, and on top of that it gives you a shield, and one of her passives is when you have that shield active you do 15% more physical damage. A weapon that I would recommend for her is the Snow Tomb Star Silver, which is a claymore you can get on Dragon's Spine Mountain through exploration, and you get one for free, essentially. You don't have to craft it. Another option could be the Prototype Archaic, which you can get right out of the gate if you have a prototype. Artifact set that I would recommend on her, I would go with a two-piece Bloodstained Chivalry and a two-piece Gladiator. Following Jin Yan is Beidou. Now I do have a bias towards her because she still is one of my favorite characters in the game. Her bread and butter is her counter attack, which can deal just massive amount of damage if you if you build her right. And then her elemental burst is Stormbreaker, which similar to Kaya creates like um, an electro ring around your character which if you switch off of her will stay on other characters so you can create elemental reactions with it. I would recommend her if you want to change up your playstyle. If you've been maining Razor, if you need something to shake up the game a bit, uh, the counter is a lot of fun to pull off. Or if you already have Beidou, but you don't have any of her constellations, some that are worth going for are her first one's pretty good. It creates a shield when she uh, casts her burst and that shield stays in effect even if you change your character. On top of it, it absorbs a lot of electro damage and that could be particularly good in the Abyss on electro floors. Her C2 is pretty decent and essentially makes it so that when you cast her burst, that lightning that hits um, an enemy will jump to multiple other enemies, get, dealing damage over time to a group. And then her C3, if you have C2 and love Beidou, love that counter, then I would highly recommend going for her third constellation if possible because it'll get her tide collar up by three. Could save you books in the long run. Artifacts that I recommend putting on her is a two-piece gladiator and a two-piece thundering fury. And if you can build her with a decent crit rate and crit damage, she she can hit uh, crits on her counter and do just massive, massive damage. As for a weapon, I would recommend the Prototype Archaic because that attack percent can translate into electro damage for her counter. Next up is Ningguang. Ningguang is a pretty damn good pick if you're just getting into the game because she will be on Kaching's banner, which is right after Zhao's, and it, it could be easy to get uh, a couple constellations from her, and her C1 is particularly good, and then veterans are really gonna benefit from filling out her constellations. So constellations you want to get 
I mean, the first one being her C1, it just turns her normal attacks into AoE damage. You can essentially just shoot the payload of rocks at the enemy. And if they're grouped up, uh, it'll do damage to all of them. And then if you have her C1 and you can get her C2, her C2 is great in the abyss right now on floor 11-2. 11-2 has a bunch of uh, idiot hilly churls that just shoot at this obelisk that you have to defend and this constellation is coming clutch so much for me because they will destroy the shield, my shield will immediately just come back and then I can put down another one and keep fighting the grunts that are attacking the obelisk. So now if you have her C2, her C3 is a, a very good choice as well. It just makes her burst damage go up because you're uh, essentially upgrading it by 3 and if you're at 7 like me this would bring you up to 10 which is like the max it can go. You can go further if you do have this constellation but if you want to save on books because Kaching is coming up the two of them use the same books so this this could save you in, in that sense. Weapons that I would recommend for her if you got the uh, frost bearing tree on dragon spine up to a meter 9 then you can get this catalyst it's just like an attack percent catalyst this could be the weapon that helps you clear the 2000 damage mark as for artifacts i would use either two-piece archaic petra and a two-piece gladiator set uh geo damage bonus cup or you could use a four-piece bolide set the bolide set's pretty good too it gives you 40 percent additional normal charge attack damage and ninglong's charge attack is already dealing a ton of damage so this just boosts it a lot and you also get uh, the two-piece effect which is uh, 35 percent extra shield strength and with all the geo buffs that came the shields are going to be so unbreakable another choice is jing chu for free to play i think he could be a good choice if you're struggling with some some difficult content because his quick skill gives you some uh, damage reduction gives you a little bit of defense and on top of that his elemental burst is very team friendly where you can pop it switch to a different character attack with that character and the rain cutter will do damage to the enemy and uh, apply the wet status so you can do some elemental reactions with other characters if you're a veteran and you're collecting his constellations i would say the best constellation to get on him is his fourth one because this just makes his rain cutter do so much damage it could probably turn him into a, a main dps if you wanted to a weapon that i would recommend for him is prototype rancor it's an easily attainable weapon that you can craft and I think they give one away for free in the story. Artifacts that I would recommend on him would be the Heart of Death set. It gives you that 15% Hydra damage bonus on top of after using your quick skill, it will increase your normal and charge attack damage by 30%. Jing Chu can be an absolute beast once you get his uh, fourth constellation open up, but even aside from that, he's a very good uh, support. So the last character on the list, Chung Yun. His quick skill allows you to throw down a circle, and in that circle, uh, it turns all damage from any of your characters that are in that circle into cryo damage, and his burst brings down these giant ice swords onto the enemies. If you want him in more of a support role, you can always throw down his quick skill and then uh, switch to a pyro character and proc a melt to maximize on your damage. If you already have Chung Yun, a good constellation to have is his first one, honestly, because it helps him keep his ult up and you can just spam it. As for a weapon, I would choose the prototype Archaic. For artifacts, I would go with two-piece Gladiator and a two-piece Blizzard Strayer, or you could go crazy and do a full crit build of, with him and get a full set of Blizzard Strayer. So those are all the characters on the Stand By Me event list to get for free. I hope this was informative and helped you narrow down your choices. Let me know in the comments down below who you're going to pick and why. Alright, that's it. See ya.